Happy Friday. It's Friday, September the 27th, and today's devotional is titled Cross the Line, and it's the second one. Uh, you had crossed the line number one yesterday. Today's scripture is Philippians 3.13, and it says this, Brethren, I do not count myself to have achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to the things which are ahead. Paul's goal is perfection. And in this, in this section of scripture in, in his letter to the church of Philippi, um, he uses a runner analogy. And, and what he's saying is he, he chooses to live by an, a, an important principle, and that is keeping his attention on the road in front of him. Um, like a dedicated runner, he has a single goal to reach to reach the ultimate goal, the finish line. A runner can't look back and, and still focus on the goal ahead because once they move their focus, they're no longer, they, they no longer have the finish line in sight. A runner must focus on the next step and move toward the goal. Uh, a runner will not look back at previous steps. That's going to create issues. And a runner always works to improve each step in the race until the goal is reached or until he gets to the finish line. So Paul uses this analogy to depict the motivation of his own spiritual life. Like a runner, Paul had a single goal, and that is to, to keep his eyes focused on Christ. Just as a runner cannot be successful unless they concentrate on the race, Neither could, could Paul be successful in growing in Christ if he allows other things to interfere. Have you ever been sitting at a spot stoplight and the light turns green and the car in front of you doesn't move? Probably because they're looking down, looking away. They could be looking at their phone. They could be adjusting the radio station. Whatever it is, when we get into a car, our ultimate goal is to get to our destination, to get to the, to the finish line of our journey. And if someone is in a car and, and they get the go ahead to move forward, but they don't, they're probably distracted. Their eyes are not fixed on the goal. Uh, their eyes are fixed. On, and and I, I can be guilty of being distracted while I drive. But the, the point I'm trying to make is, is that that is a very real world example of people not staying focused on what they should be focused on. So where's their attention? It's not on the goal line. Rarely will you see an Olympic champion look behind him in a race. Rarely will you see a, a, an Olympic runner or swimmer look at their opponent. Now it, had, it has happened, but what will happen? Well, when they do that, it will slow them. It places them in danger of stumbling. Uh, they will lose their sight of the finish line. It's the same for us as believers. When we look back and dwell on our mistakes, uh, those things in our life that we're not proud of or, or those things in our life that, that are clearly the things that God rescued us from, well, we lose, when we look back at those things, we lose momentum in our growth with Christ. It places us in danger of regressing back to the old way of life. And we lose sight of our goal, uh, and, and that goal is to grow closer to the Savior. So in this devotional, Paul has the best advice, and that is forget the things that are behind us, run the race, and press on toward the goal. So stay focused. We can learn from the past, but we're not bound by the things we have done. Instead of being chained by our past mistakes, we can move forward knowing that we carry the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. Have a great day.